Welcome back guys, Zach Man doing a little video update on Tron TRX and we'll also touch on some uh, what Bitcoin's doing as well. I uh, apologize for my last video, I know the volume's kind of messed up, uh, kind of hit my my chair, hit my uh, USB port that uh, it connects to and it kind of effed it up a little bit, so hopefully this works out a little bit better. And I've been dealing with a head cold, so I've been kind of in and out of it as well, so if I'm not making any sense, I do apologize for that, but uh, anyways... <clears throat> Let's get back to it. So if you look right here on the chart, uh, the 60-minute chart, uh, we can kind of see how we did hit a low right here at about 634 Satoshis. And uh, right now, we hit a higher low. So that's pretty positive. Uh, we did hit a little bit here, but uh, I'm going to mark it right here anyway. So we did have a little higher low. We'll kind of see where this candle ends up. Hopefully, uh, we kind of bounce off of that. But as of right now, it looks like we did for sure right here hit a higher low. And obviously, we did have a higher high compared to right here as well at 658 satoshis and now we're at a higher high of 606, ooh, 666 satoshis so uh hopefully we're uh we can bounce back out of this if we take a look at the four hour chart that really doesn't show much um other than the support that we have right here at uh where i got it marked at come on about 6,500 or 60 or 650 uh, Satoshi. So uh, and if you look at the day 24 hour chart, pretty much the same thing. So it's kind of a showing a down uh, trend there. But um, hopefully that changes, like I said, especially with Bitcoin going up, which we'll touch on here in a little bit. Um, but the volume, the MACD, everything like that is kind of looking pretty positive in the uh, smaller time frames. Um, the only one I'm worried about is obviously the 24 our one but uh, we'll kind of see like i said if we can get uh, some support down here and create some new higher highs we'll get a little bounce off of this and uh wake the giant up and let's continue this which we'll uh touch on uh in a few days here as well but uh if you look at bitcoin actually let's go to tron right now uh so some of the news right now tron is actually number one now in terms of total dap users and active dap users so we are number one in the world when it comes to that uh 267k in the past two months uh, when it comes to users for the DAP. So we are rocking and rolling. And hopefully, like I said, uh, that kind of continues to grow and grow. And that will pump uh, more uh, money into the ecosystem and then therefore make the price rise and wake the sleeping giant. So let's uh, hopefully that uh, you know goes as planned. So that's kind of the whole idea of BitTorrent launch and all that kind of stuff, fun stuff, the ecosystem entertainment industry. Uh, I know there was rumors of Jay-Z being interested in, and that would be kind of get some music stuff involved. That would be pretty positive. Uh, but let's get back into Bitcoin now. Uh, if we look at the fundamentals on Bitcoin, the chart uh, data as well. Uh, this is a day chart. As you can see, the tw last 24 hours, um, you know, we pretty much hit the, we were at the bottom for a while there, and now we had this little uptrend candle. And then uh, kind of went a little sideways, and then up, up, and up. Now... The difference between uh, this uptrend, let me exit out of there, compared to the previous ones, like, uh, you know, obviously you have one candle that went up and then kind of staggered, one candle go up, kind of staggered, one candle go up, kind of staggered, but now we have an up, up, and up, so we could be, I mean, to me, this, I don't, you get it, obviously back here, if you look, we kind of had this up, 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 and then it kind of went back down, so I don't want to say, you know, like, we're going to go up, 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 but. I think we are going to go all the way up to right around, uh, my guess is between four and 4,500. So we could probably hit 4,500 by, I'd say March for sure, or at least four. But um, we can definitely see this thing hitting 4,400 and then probably coming back down and then retracing back down to maybe three or 33 to 3,400, depending on. Um, unless there's some major news and other stuff that kind of can factor into it too. Um, but if you're just going to go off the technical analytics of the charts, then that's what you would base it off of. But um, obviously news and ETFs. I know um, a lot of people are talking. Let's look at the four-hour chart real quick here um, and kind of see a better view of the, the candles that way. Like I said, you know, this was all one big candle, the 24-hour chart. But like I said, you have this candle that goes up, stagnant. Same thing back here, you're going to have this kind of go up, stagnant, kind of go up, stagnant, then down. Um, but like I said, this is kind of a, these ones right here, you know, it's up, up, all green, 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 up, and a little bit of red, and then green, up. So, 
this is pretty positive for a, a nice bull run. Um, like I said, uh, it's not going to be taking us to 10,000, oops, sorry, uh, 10,000, back to 10,000, but uh, if it gets us halfway there, it would be pretty nice. Um, but it's going to definitely uh, change the way things are looking as far as the reversals go. But um, like I said, it's it's very positive, lots of volume. Uh, I think this is the most volume, if I remember correctly, like since the last, pretty, pretty much in a year that hasn't been, like, it was like 9 billion in volume with this uh, uptrend that happened. Uh, I think the last time it was close to this was like uh, last December, uh, right before the crash, I believe. So um, there hasn't been that much volume in one day um, during this uh, uptrend here in a long time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so if we look at Bitcoin right now, some of the fundamentals of uh, staying sharp, uh, starting to shine despite the price struggling for the strength. So let's kind of get into a little bit about that. Like I said, even though the previous year had uh, been a disaster for the value of Bitcoin as it dropped to over 80% of its peak value, if you look at the fundamentals, the ecosystem is thriving. Um, so what that means is we're going to talk about a little bit about the miners. Like Bitcoin miners revenue is hitting a near two-year low. This also means that it's becoming super cheap to transact on the network again. Anyone remember the ridiculous fees and long wait times to transact in the late of 2017? So, yeah, so the miners are kind of, you know, obviously there's a lot of, you know, a lot of the transaction fees and stuff like that were getting pretty crazy with the price of Bitcoin up. But uh, what's interest, or interesting is that despite that, the average daily transaction count on Bit, uh, Bitcoin is almost as high as December of 2017. The number of active Bitcoin wallets has also increased, according to the uh, prominent trader hash rate, which is the most important statistic to be tracked after transaction count, has all has also steadily increased. Um, it has bottomed in December to about 31 million uh, tera hash per second, but has since climbed to 47 million tera hash. So um, this is because the new miners are entering the market with more hash power, while the previous miners are still in it strong. So. Um, that's pretty cool stuff, if you ask me, because like I said, everything, you know, people are still mining it. Obviously, the hat hash is wait 47 million uh, compared to 31 million, so everything's going up uh, as far as that goes. Like I said, and there's a lot of 1 billion move daily on the Bitcoin network. Um, they're improving, obviously, huge lightning network growth, so they're, they're, you know, everything's been improving since, you know, that time. So my, we're going to see... Uh, a nice uptrend here, like I said, Bitcoin. Like I, said, I don't think it's the full turnaround going to make it, make it to go to 20, but it's uh, it's going to start a bull run, I believe. I think this is the start of it. Uh, there's also $6 billion in fiat that is sitting and waiting uh, to be used. Uh, if we kind of talk about this a little bit. So Bitcoin, uh, or Bitcoin bull, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, but Suju, the chief executive officer in the Singapore-based Three Arrows Capital, recently took to Twitter and he basically talks about there's an estimated $2 billion in cash in a crypto fund. Uh, there are another $2 billion sitting in stable coins and other $2 billion sitting on exchange Silvergate signature. So this is about $6 billion if you're already on board to crypto uh, to buy your bag. So I get it doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, like I said, they're talking about, you know, Tron possibly hitting, or, or not Tron, but Bitcoin hitting 10 k again. So um, like I said, if we go back at the chart, go back to the day. The last 24 hours. Click. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I get a drink. All right. So, like I said, I believe this thing, or we will see 4,500 uh, by the end of March, end of February. Uh, just because of the way things are looking, like I said, this is the major resistance, obviously. But if we can break through that, then obviously the next stop would be six. A thousand, which would be very positive if, if we can break that. If we get a good strong run and um, the ETF, I know I, um, the JP Morgan coin, uh, a lot of people are talking about this is kind of since they accepted uh, cryptocurrencies now, that's this is what's kind of prompting the whole bull run, which could be true, might not be either way. It's happening, so it doesn't matter, but um, how far it's going to go. I believe 4,500, then we'll see some retracements. Um, but we'll worry about that once we get there. But for sure, we will hit 4,500 within the next couple of weeks by the end of uh, first part of March anyways, for sure, first week or so. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.